My name is Brett Panter from the personal injury law firm of Panter, Panter, and San Pedro. And for the last four or five years, I have added mediation to my practice. And what I mean by that is aside from attending mediations and mediating on behalf of my clients, I became a board certified mediator by the Florida Supreme Court and have enjoyed doing this. And it has added to my practice and added to my ability to help others uh, resolve their cases. And there are Mediation is required, as most of you know, whether you're a lawyer or a consumer or a potential client. In every single case we do, in all our civil cases, mediation is required before you're allowed to go to trial. So that begets the question, when do we mediate? You can simply wait for the court order to tell you when to mediate, or if the parties agree, you can mediate early. Mediation early has its good side and its bad side. The good side is maybe the parties can settle the case early on before they spend a significant amount of money in cost and time, depositions and experts and things of that nature. The negative side of that is that the case isn't discovered and either side may complain that they don't have enough information to resolve the case. And that's legitimate. So my suggestion is if you are able to do an early mediation, what you need to do is make sure, and it doesn't matter what side you're on, get the other side as much information as possible, which, for example, you know, medical records, um, any reports that you may have already gotten. I don't, doesn't matter what side you're on. Remember, I'm a mediator now, and I'm working for both sides equally, and I care about both sides. So this information pertains to both sides. Exchange of information is important. If you go to an early mediation and very little information has been exchanged, you will have fulfilled the mediation requirement, but you haven't increased your chances of settling the case. So what I suggest to you is full and complete disclosure. Provide as much information as possible if you're gonna do an early mediation. And if you're gonna do a standard mediation according to the court order, then naturally that mediation will be set at a time after most of the discovery is done, so that won't be your issue. So it's up to you. It depends on the parties, depends on the relationships between counsel, the trust that's built over years, and I would suggest to you that if the lawyers are senior and have you know, communicated and worked with each other before, their chances of an early mediation being successful are greater uh, than if there is no relationship and no trust. So all of this is important when you're evaluating when to mediate. The question is not, do I have to mediate? But the question is, when do I mediate? And I want you all to be successful. So I hope this information is helpful for whether you represent the plaintiff or whether you represent the defendant. I am always here to help you do your mediations. And my name is Brett Panter from the law firm of Panter, Panter, and San Pedro.